Hi, in this video I will show some steps of creating ideation sketches. I'll have three sketch proposals, then I'll choose one and we'll render it. And while I'm doing this, I'll touch on three general aspects of sketching young designers might ask themselves about, at least in the world of automotive design. First, style or technique. I'll go ahead and start with an obvious statement. There is no right or wrong style. It's the designer who makes a style work. Usually it's not a conscious choice and comes rather with time and experience, through lots of trying, experimenting, mixing things, being inspired by the others and knowing to find that middle ground between what you like to do and what you are expected to deliver. These two things aren't always the same. Anyways, some designers like to use big shaders and long strokes, while the others prefer line work, creating volumes with hatching. Also, some start their sketches by first laying out some background color spots to create a tangible space to put a sketch in. Or you might just go straight ahead with black lines on a white canvas. It's all up to you and what you're feeling tells you what's the right thing. So try things out, and once you found a style you think you enjoy the most, work on it, adapt it. And if it doesn't look good right away, no worries, just give it more than one try, let it mature. Don't think you are doing something wrong, it's in your power to make every style work. And now don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying you have to push for one thing forever, no matter what. I'm saying try to choose a direction, but don't be too rigid. Let it evolve by approaching your technique from different angles using different tools. And that's my next point, the tools. Generally, we can divide all tools by their nature of being analog or digital. So what's better? To keep it simple, I'll say this. Analog tools are better for acquiring fundamental skills. They are very effective yet simple to use and cheap. Everyone can afford a sketchbook and a pencil. A digital setup will cost you several thousand dollars for a medium grade hardware. Cheap hardware won't give you an enjoyable experience and it's not a good starting point anyways in my opinion. So if you're on a budget, grab that piece of paper and a pencil and go ahead. If money isn't a question, for beginners I would still recommend the paper and pencil combo. If you go full digital without any experience, you are running the risk to be wanting to chase all the endless possibilities the world of digital painting gives you, only to be confused, frustrated or even losing your motivation completely. I'll make this analogy. Imagine a person who has no or little experience in driving would be given a race car. Most probably, it wouldn't end up very well, right? Having said all this, please keep in mind, if you want to make design, automotive design in particular your profession, you eventually will have to go digital in a big way, make no mistakes about it. But the analog tools, in my opinion, are still better to jumpstart your design journey. And once you've gained some experience and are familiar with different tools, you'll be able to choose an appropriate tool for an accordant purpose. And that leads us to my next point, which is the purpose. Are you making sketches just for yourself to exercise? Or you are a student who has to present his sketches later on? Or your sketches are a part of a big presentation where your work will eventually be evaluated by the people who aren't necessarily designers, but still have to make decision over your stuff. This all influences how you present your ideas and tools you use. If it's just for yourself, you can go for quantity over quality. You can explore ideas without caring much about the others can actually recognize them in the scribbles you've made. If you have to present your work to people who are familiar with design or actual designers, you still might go wild with your presentation style, but don't make them scratch their heads too much trying to interpret your sketches. Make your ideas clear to read. And that leads us to rendering your sketches. 
Once one of your sketches has been chosen by you or whoever makes the decision, you go for the next step of refining your rough ideas, making them more visible and detailed. During your design career, you'll find out rather sooner than later that not all your bosses, employers, customers, whoever, are familiar with design in general, but are still in the position to give a yes or a no to your proposals. So you are the one whose responsibility to create a work that can be evaluated as easily as possible by everyone, not only by the designers. This is a step where you must have a clear idea about your design and the way to show it. This stage requires your careful consideration about what exactly your services are doing. This is not a final result by any means. And you still can be very much artistic with your rendering approach. But at this stage, your design should be presented in, let's call it, a more digestible form and shape. Separating your workflow by sketches and renderings will also make you more productive, since you don't want to spend hours, sometimes days, on a render, only to find out that your design doesn't work as intended, because not enough work has been done during your sketch phase. So be clever, work step by step, respect the audience you're gonna be presenting your work to, and above all, don't forget to enjoy the process. And by the way, making this video, I basically am going through the same process of constantly thinking what I'm sketching for you, how I do it, how I present it, how I edit my sketching process so you could learn something from it. It's my responsibility to make my videos useful and straightforward enough. I have experience in design, but I am new to YouTube and have a lot to learn. I still am planning to make a proper tutorial video and considering different ways to approach it. And one way could be if some of you could like to get a feedback and see some corrections of your sketches done by me, send me over some of your stuff. I then could make some overlays and give comments about your sketches, eventually explaining how to make them better. Should we try it? If it's interesting to you, you can either DM me on Instagram or send me your sketch via email that you'll find pinned in the comment section. In my next upcoming video, I'll go through the same process once again but with a front three-quarter view of the design you saw here. So make sure to subscribe to not miss on that one. If it's already posted, you'll see a link in the left or right upper corner of your screen. Okay, for sure you have some thoughts about what you've seen and heard in this video so far so leave a comment. And if you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't, smash that dislike button without any hesitation. Honest feedback matters the most. That's it for today. As always, have a great time.